today we're going to have a look at a classic pen by Waterman. Uh, this pen was uh, lent to me by the uh, Knights Writing Company. Uh, Knights Writing Company are based in Canada, so that's always nice. I'm in Canada now, so that's that's very convenient. I received a lot of requests to review this particular pen, so I'm very happy that through Knights I was able to to do this. Uh, that's always great. Um, just so you know, it's the Expert 3. They have it listed for $220 Canadian. Uh, that that would yeah, depends a bit on the um, currency uh, exchange rate, but call it about 170 US dollars. And we're talking about the Walterman Expert 3. That's a pen. It comes in a cute little box. I like this simple, simple presentation box. I don't need anything beyond this really. Uh, box comes with a Waterman cartridge. The nice thing about their cartridges is that they're long, uh, so they hold a bit more ink than the, the short ones, and it has a little uh, information uh, brochure, booklet, how to fill it, etc. Waterman has been around for a long time in the fountain pen world, and the Expert 3 has actually been around since 1994. Has undergone a few small changes in the, uh, the, the, the cap uh, rings and such, uh, so the center band. But the basic model has been around since 1994, and in shape it hasn't changed that much. Still has that slanted cutoff, still has a cigar shape. So that's what I meant by it's a kind of a classic uh, pen. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen and tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sample. Top of the pen, finial, has the Waterman logo. And I like that, a little bit of relief, looks cool. I've always liked that slanted cutoff, I think it's neat. Then you have a little ring, and then you have a Waterman clip. Waterman typically has those, those I was going to say holes, what do we call that, slits in the, in the clips. You have almost like a, like a two-pronged two uh, design. They've been using that for a long time now, so it's a, kind of like a trademark. I have a simple simple clip design with the ring around there, so it's 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 very uh, it works well. Waterman right there on the center band. It says Waterman Paris or Paris, and at the back it says France. So French band. Center band band a little bit of black and a bit of chrome again. The clip before we move on to the barrel is nice, tight but flexible, so works well. The barrel, as I said, cigar shaped, so tapers down a bit, then ends in a shiny sort of end cap thing, which I like. It's just simple. And it makes for a nicely balanced pen, I think. The shiny chrome, black, chrome, black, chrome, shiny black. I like that. Cap pops off, it's a slip cap. Nice, simple section, tapers down, flares out a little bit. Uh, then you have a little metal ring there. Uh, that, some people, don't like so much uh, because these kinds of you know you dip that in the ink if you use um, bottled ink and those usually they they can corrode so you have to be a little careful always wipe that down well and then you have the nib uh, Waterman uh, interesting thing about a lot of Waterman uh, nibs is that they don't have a breather hole uh, so it's just a, a slit and no breather hole uh, the nib itself has the Waterman logo it says Waterman Paris and F for fine uh, and the feed it's it's a uh, simple plastic feed. Okay, I'm just uh, opening this up. You can see that cartridge. Uh, I put in a cartridge, uh, but you can also use a converter. And that's it. So, simple, simple design. It's not a, uh, a huge pen, but it's, it's definitely not small. It has some girth to it. I think this is a great size. I think for many people this would be a, 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 a good size to, to use on a daily basis. If you want to, you can post it, and it posts very securely, which I always like. So this cap doesn't rotate that much as you post it. I don't know if that's a weird pet peeve, some silly idiosyncrasy, but I, I like it when it's kind of secure. And it is secure. It clicks in place, the pen won't fall out. And I like that. What do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Well. I think there's quite a lot to like. I know they're not super cheap, but 170 US, that's not that terrible either, I think, uh, when it comes to pens. You get a sophisticated looking pen, it's a classic design, cigar shape I think usually works well. Uh, simple and classic. It has a very comfortable section, 
Uh, it's it's smooth. It's a bit shiny as you can see, but it it's comfortable to hold. The nib uh, it looks like it's about number five size. It's not a giant nib, but I think it kind of looks in in proportion with with the rest of the pen, so that's nice. And the posting I like a lot. It's comfortable posting, and another thing that 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 non rotation thing that works both ways. So when you have it capped. The cap barely rotates, and I like that. I I, I don't really like s snap caps where the, the 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 clip rotates as it's capped. I actually don't like it. Sorry, uh, which is weird. Now, as to the nib, because of course you buy a pen to write with, it'll write. Uh, this is a fine, and it wrote well. Now the one thing is, and here we kind of go into things I don't like so much. I have owned quite a couple of Watermans, modern Watermans. Um, throughout the years. I like the brand, it's a simple reliable brand and you'll probably get a pen that writes well and that, that just keeps writing if you take good care of it. The one thing I will say is the nibs are, they use are very very hard. It's kind of like the modern Parker nibs. I realize this is a steel nib but it's it's hard. It's very unyielding and even though it writes well, even though it's not particularly scratchy, uh, it it that 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 hardness, that the complete lack of slide yield, even uh, makes for an interesting tactile experience as you write. Not everybody likes that. I myself like even steel nibs that bounce a little bit more. Pelican has that, for example. Uh, I think you can barely get any line variation out of this. Uh, so that is something I, I. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a thing, and some people really like super rigid nibs. So I'm just speaking from my perspective, of course, and yours may completely vary. Most importantly, it writes. It doesn't really skip. It, it, I mean, it, it performs well. One thing some would say is that the cap and barrel. It. It. I don't know if it feels really plasticky. It. It doesn't feel like a, a tremendously high-end material to me. Which is not to say it feels cheaply, but it, it's just. It, it, I don't know. It's it, it, it doesn't strike me as a, a, a super super expensive pen, but then again, it, it is as I said, 220 Canadian. It 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 is sort of doable, um, so I think that is that is to be expected. It it feels like it sort of matches the price, if that makes sense. So that that's that's a good thing. Okay. Now then, nice writing. Thank a lot. Thanks a lot for lending me the pen. I appreciate it because, as I said, I got so many review requests for, for the Expert 3. I'm very happy to have been able to review this. We need to see how it writes. That's what's coming up next. Measurements of the pen, as well as high-resolution pictures, will be on the website, sbrebrown.com. That's all there's to it. Hope this was useful so far, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with the... Waterman Expert 3 with a fine nib and just Waterman black in the uh, in the pen just from a cartridge writing good flow but as I said because it's such a hard nib so rigid uh, there is definitely feedback as you write. The fast writing. No bounce, and it is a bit on the dry side of things, so there, I, I, I think I did see a skip here and there. Uh, of course, I don't think anyone writes this, this rapidly in daily life, but still. Wetness. Of course, also a bit of a property of the ink and the paper, but it's it's not a super wet uh, pen. And if you look at the, I mean, when I was looking at the, the, the slit between the tines, it is pretty tight, so you could probably make this a bit wetter. That may also make it feel a little smoother, but still. Line variation, there is some, but this is quite some pressure I'm exerting, so don't I wouldn't expect too much in that regard. Then reverse writing, oh, I started to do that the other way around. There's reverse writing. As you can see, the nib is so dry that you can't read back the, uh, the writing. So reverse writing does not really work. And that's all there's to it. A kind thank you to the Knights Writing Company for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.
bye